What's up, YouTube? This is how she sits. Uh, we haven't touched it all winter. It actually was under a big bank of snow. It's just been a brutal winter here, uh, but we have been busy. So I'll show you what we got here in a second. Uh, right now, this car has a stage three ECU in it, but it calls for KO4, uh, 440 CC injectors. So it runs rough, but you can keep it running and it will, uh, it's got a serious analog and crackle pop tune in it. This thing sounds like a shotgun. Maybe we'll do that at the end of the video, start it up. Uh, but there's the Passat. We are gearing up to start working on it a lot more. You're not gonna believe what I got and how much I got it for. Uh, we have been busy. Steel just picked this up. If you remember, I showed you the $1,000 Silverado he bought. We put a $900 lift on it and $900 tires and wheels. He ended up selling that for $4,500 and uh, had partial trade with a $3,000 gaming PC. So he took the gaming PC, went out and bought this the other night for $4,500. This thing's got a beefy cam in it. It sounds amazing. Basic 5.3 Maddox. He had the Jeep, then he traded it for the 450R. He sold the 450 uh, and bought that truck. So that one's pretty nice. Needs, he bought rockers for it. You can see he started putting the one on the driver's side. She's got some rust, but overall pretty clean truck. Runs amazing. Let's go into the garage and see what we got. Oh, also, my work fusion blew up on the way to work. Dropped two valves, lost compression. So I wound up finding this car, super cheap. They hit a deer. I took all the parts off my black Fusion and uh, put them on this one so I can, I drive an hour and a half to work every day, so I need something. I ended up cutting the catalytic converter off the black one. Uh, got over 200 bucks for that and then sold the car for 350. So I ended up getting this silver car pretty much free. Just had to do the work. So yeah, that's what I'm driving right now. Bummer. Anyway, onto the good stuff. So I was trolling Facebook Marketplace. I saw this kit, uh, APR Stage 3 Turbo Kit. And I was like, whatever. He was only asking 375. I go into the ad, I start talking to him, and he's got this short block. He's like, yeah, the block comes with it, this, that. And then he got into everything that came with it. And uh, I ended up getting this for 250, mind you. I said, I'll give you 250 today. He said, okay, I cannot believe what I got. So anybody knows these APR manifolds, these are four to 600 bucks. Um, that alone is a steal. That's what I needed, because I'll show you in a minute. But uh, we got that manifold. And then here is a Garrett GT2560R ball bearing turbo. Problem is, the housing's good. Everything's good except for, here, let me set this here. So this guy bought this Audi. It was in an accident and it hit the turbo. The car, I guess, was hit hard enough to where it hit the turbo. No play. Um, seems good. You can see the compressor wheel. She took some damage. But basically what happened is the center of the turbo is good. This plate right here, this back plate needs to be replaced. So I've been looking those up. Those go for, I don't know, you can get a Chinese one for like 20 bucks. But overall, it's a Garrett GT2560R. It is a ball bearing turbo. Um, flange lines up with the manifold. This is all on the car. Uh, I mean, I couldn't believe it. Just that manifold is worth more than what I paid. And then I got the turbo and then it even gets better. So this intake here, I start researching. These are 550 cc injectors. Uh, these are $100 a piece. They go, they're stock injectors for a 911 Porsche. So they're Bosch injectors. They're not, you know, China brand. These are good injectors, 550 cc. I was looking at the 440 cc's and they were wanting 300 bucks. So we ended up getting those with an intake. I don't know if I'll use that intake. It doesn't look like it's ported or anything. Um, you can see the lines. Them lines right there, I'll show you. You could probably port them out to them lines. 
But so, you know, manifold turbo injectors. Uh, check out this. You can see everything in this box here. And then this is the APR inlet, which they made. It bolts on right here, and it's the exact same size as the housing for better airflow. Got this oiling kit. So basically your sandwich plate for your oil filter. Got all that. But what the heck is this thing? Is that an oil pump? Is it an oil return tank? I don't know. I am familiar with the sandwich plate. That's pretty much normal for all turbo applications on non-turbo cars. I got all the braided lines, everything I need to hook this up on a 1.8 T. But what is that blue thing? All AN fittings. I mean, it's a pretty sweet setup. If you know what that blue thing is, let me know. Gets even better. Got this sweet flywheel. It's a AWE tuning, I guess. This plate right here doesn't look healthy, but on these, this plate's replaceable. So you can buy the plate if you can't, you know, surface it. I don't know, but I looked this up. This is 450 bucks just for the flywheel. So there's that. Um, the downpipe, you can see the downpipe took a hit. Uh, she's, that turbo got whacked pretty hard. So we may need to find a decent downpipe, but it's a nice one. It's missing the cat, it's empty. But again, as far as the turbo, there is no, no play. It spins good. So I don't know, I'm hoping I can just, we're gonna try to limp that one through, see if we can't use it. Oh, and then these. I don't know what these are off of, but they're Audi coils. ECS tuning is selling them a hundred bucks a piece just for the square box not the boot nothing else literally just this box 100 bucks we got four of those so really we got a full apr stage three kit for the most part so i got the coils and what else we got this thing i know this is an apr something but i'm not sure what it goes to maybe the intake um I'm not sure don't look like it goes on the throttle housing. I don't know. We'll have to figure out where this goes. But that's aftermarket. Who knows what it is. The wastegate took a hit. Um, you know, it is what it is. These aren't very expensive. Uh, but yeah, there's the wastegate. That goes with the turbo. We've got a blow-off valve. I uh, don't know what brand. Does anybody know that logo? No idea. It might be Chinese. Who knows? But everything on this, the guy bought all high-end everything. I mean, right down, you know, injectors, coils, the kit, the Garrett Turbo, um, the flywheel. So what else we got? Oh, we've got more oiling. I've got a bunch of bolts and stuff. I've got this valve cover. Now, I don't know if this is a different valve cover. I haven't popped the hood on the Passat yet to look, but this valve cover bolts up to those square coils. So I know sometimes when you, you put different coils on or higher performance coils, you gotta do some wearing and they don't mount into your valve cover like the stock ones do so you have to buy a kit to adapt them and all that stuff we'll have to look into that and see what we got going <laughs> got a free blower bonus and empty bottle who knows we got vacuum lines um, that looks like it goes to an injector or something and then we've got a spacer I don't know if that's the gasket or just it's a some sort of a spacer for the intake. I don't know if those are aftermarket or stock. I don't know. I don't know what a spacer would do, but so oil line, more bolts. Uh, 
more cocaine. But yeah, I got this for 250 bucks. I feel like I scored, oh, wait for the best part. Right here, check this out. This right here is the icing on the cake. Uh, APR stage three tuned ECU. But look at this. They adapted it with a push button. I don't know if it's got multiple tunes on it. I don't know what the heck this is. I've never seen this or heard of this. And how the hell did they do that? I've never seen that before. I absolutely cannot wait to put that in the car and see what it does. I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. But it gets even better. So Maddox had those purple rotiform wheels. He didn't want those anymore, so he traded them to a guy. We got these. The guy had three ECUs. Stage three, 440 injectors, KL4, um, IMMO off, so this can go in any car. EVAP off, SAI off, Rear 02 off, um, two-step, and MBC. Now, the one we put in the car has got crackle pop. That's why we put it in there. We wanted to hear it. So we've had this for, I don't know, a couple months now. So we've been looking for things, which is what put me on to looking for that stuff. But we had this ECU. We had the other one. Well, there's three total stage three ECUs. Now we've got this one. So we've got tunes coming out the wazoo. But uh, because of this, I went and bought these. These are two China turbos um i found them on facebook market you're not even gonna believe what i paid you're not gonna believe me i don't care but i got three turbos for 130 bucks this guy right here he was trying to turbocharge a geo tracker i'm not lying <laughs> he was putting turbos on a geo tracker and he was trying to get it to run right so i couldn't believe it either until I went over there and sure enough, the tracker was there. Um, so first things first, he bought this T3, T4 for the tracker and uh, that motor couldn't even barely spin that turbo. Um, so he was like, all right, cool. I will put a different one on. He got this GT25. This is the exact same turbo as that. That's ball bearing, this isn't. So, this mounting plate is that mounting plate. So, this manifold bolts on to this turbo. Hence, me looking for that manifold and finding all of this. So, that there, it obviously needs a housing. The outer housing is good. It's, you know, it's not scratched up. It's not all messed up. Um, I mean, it's usable and it'll actually go on this turbo. Wastegate, exactly the same. Actuator, all of it. So I bought three turbos, I told you, from them. Hold on, I'll go in the basement and grab the other one. Boom. What we have here is a Honda D Series manifold. Um, he was a CAD engineer. So he bought a D-series manifold and he cut it up and welded. He designed with CAD flanges to bolt on to a geo tracker. He designed this plate or spacer, whatever you want to call it, to bolt up to it. Um, so yeah, literally CAD designed a D-series header to fit a geo tracker pretty amazing so this here look at this baby turbo this here is a i have no idea v like 12 or 13 something and this turbo is what people are turboing their crotch rockets with quads snowmobiles um still he put it on the tracker he used it for one hour he didn't like it he could not get it right Basically, he needed a tune in his ECU. I mean, that's all you gotta do is tune it for air and fuel, but he could never figure it out. So he ditched all three turbos, put them on Facebook market. 
I made him an offer and he said he'd take it. So I got all of this. So I had 130 plus 250 and I got all this plus ECUs. Um, I'm freaking stoked guys. I can't wait for spring. So what I might do first, if I can't figure out this Garrett turbo, I obviously need a wheel. I need that back plate, um, wastegate. Either way, we can throw this bad boy on there, on that manifold. We've got 550cc injectors. We've got oiling. We've got coils. Um, we literally have everything we need to stage three this Passat for less than freaking 500 bucks. And we have options. We literally have three stage threes plus this one to choose from. Not to mention a stack of ECUs up there that we've played with. Literally cannot wait till spring. But all three ECUs were boost dynamic tuning. Um, and this is a reputable company. We plugged them all in. The car started with all of them. Um, obviously, it's running rich as hell at idle and doesn't want to stay running because it's pouring gas in there. And it's just still got the KO3. But I can't wait to start making videos with this stuff. I'm the most stoked about this Garrett Turbo and this APR header. That is that is actually a badass header made out of nickel something It'll never crack. Um, it withstands at crazy hot temperatures. If the flow rate has been designed, I mean, that that's almost one of the best headers you can get on the market. So APR stage three kits, you get the turbo, the manifold, um, you know, oil, all that stuff. And they're upwards of five grand with an ECU. Uh, whoever built that Audi, built the shit out of that Audi. I mean, it was sweet. Or I feel bad, you know, he crashed it and the other guy bought it. He had a Passat, he was gonna put this stuff on there. He never did, thank God. So I got to thinking, you know, if this guy went this far with that Audi, you know, the injectors, the valve cover, the, uh, the flywheel, the Garrett turbo, and what the heck did he do to this thing? So I, and you see in there, that's all grease. Uh, this motor was running when he got it. He took everything off it. I wish I would've got the head. I would love to have seen what was done to that head. But uh, he greased up the cylinders and I mean, you can see it's just coated so they don't rust. Um, he said this engine was, has been rebuilt. The cross hatching is amazing in it. Uh, mind you, I picked this up at a garage. Um, on a Saturday, he was there with a bunch of his buddies. They had a Cadillac CTS in there with a turbo literally the size of a five gallon bucket. Biggest turbo I've ever seen in my life. So these guys, you know, know that they know what they're talking about. And he wasn't trying to upsell me. He was just literally talking to me. Um, so block has been rebuilt. I want to flip this thing over and see if it's got rods in it. I want to pull that oil pan and get inside this thing. This could be, you know, this could be our block that we, you know, build with rods and all the stuff you need to go above 300 horsepower. So this will be in the works. We will get into that, flip it over, um, look at the rods. He, I asked him if he checked him. He said, nope, he hasn't even, the oil pan hasn't come off yet. So you're going to have to stick around. We'll flip that thing over, see if that thing's got rods in it. I mean, if he went as far as all that, and I asked him where the clutch was, and he kept the clutch. But, yeah, what do you think, guys? I think I stole it. I think it's just a screaming deal. Not to mention, now we can boost a quad or a pit bike. Like, we got options. We got options. So, and if anybody knows what the heck this is, I mean, I know you're watching this video probably because uh, you're in a 1.8 T's and you might know something more than me. So if you know what that is and what that blue thing is, it doesn't look cheap. Maybe it's an oil circulator. Maybe it serves as a catch can. 
for the valve cover. I don't see any. I don't see any fittings on the valve cover for a catch can, which I gotta believe you'd need a catch can with all this. So I don't know what that is. You gotta figure it out. Do my research. Um, at the end of the video, I will plug the uh, the listings or the ads for these coils. Literally, ECS tuning is selling them for 100 bucks a piece. Um, these injectors, the Porsche 911 injectors, those are all going for 100 bucks a piece. So, you know, I was kind of getting disheartened because we had that turbo, we had our Stage 3 ECUs, and that's all we had. So I was looking, you know, trying to find an exhaust manifold that would bolt up to one of these turbos, the T3 or the, the uh, GT25. And, you know, sure enough, found that, but... So we had ECUs, we had turbos. I was ready to start trying to build my own manifold or figure it out. Um, last week I was looking for the injectors, the 440 cc's, and I couldn't believe how much they're going for. For a set, I was trying to buy a used set out of Florida off Facebook Market and have them shipped, and he was wanting 150 bucks for the green, whatever they call them, green mambas or green somethings. Uh, I'm glad I didn't pull the trigger, but I've been trying to get a bunch of stuff ready for springtime so when we're out here working we got stuff to do um, yeah all APR stage three setup can you believe it and it's all going on a $800 Passat <laughs> which is even more awesome I don't see that motor with hand withstanding very long with all this stuff on it but it is what it is. It'll be fun to ride around in. I don't know how aggressive these tunes are. Another question. If you've ever seen this before, you know what this is, please let me know. I definitely want to know what that button is. I've never heard of that, never seen it. Just insane. And then we will do a video. We'll plug this one in, we'll plug that one in, and we'll plug the other ones in and see which ECU we like best. The one in it right now has crackle pop, so I'll see if we can't get that Passat warmed up and do some uh, two-stepping, see what it sounds like. All right, let's see if this thing starts. I'm gonna put the stock ECU in it, let it idle and warm up. It hasn't been started in a while, so hopefully it starts. But uh, yeah, I wanna let it at least warm up before I try to do some analog. We'll see what it does. It's so easy to remove ECUs on these things. You can see there's the other one. So you can see this one's different. Still got the 440cc injectors, the KO4 Stage 3, uh, two-step MVC. It's, this one has crackle pop. Um, basically all the same stuff on that side. TS, no idea what that means. B5. Um, Whatever that is, maybe that's the stock tune. Who knows, but let's plug the stock one in and start this thing. All right, we got the jump box on it. Let's see what it does. No, it's not in gear. Oh, she fires up. Not in gear. Look at that goofy shifter. I gotta talk him into removing that. Sheesh. thing still runs like a top yeah, pretty pink cool it minimum we need to add a little bit it's been sitting so who knows I know it does have a small leak down in the bottom corner of the radiator so we're gonna do that um, I'm waiting to do that because we're gonna do the timing belt when we take this front clip off so that manifold is gonna go there that turbo is gonna be hanging the little KO3 is gone Cannot wait. I'm gonna have to modify the downpipe because now we're gonna have a different connection. So all the work we just did is gonna be undone. Let it warm up a little bit more. Listen to that turbo. Sounds so good. Yeah, she's saying coolant. 
we'll watch our temps. But I do want to warm this up before I go trying to blow a freaking exhaust off of it. I've got my trusty assistant. It's nice and warm. Let's put this ECU in and see what it does. I'll start it up. Maddox is gonna film. You gotta kind of pedal it to keep it running. Let's see what it does. Here you go. about all I'm gonna do with that we are gonna grab our stuff and run inside and hide because that is freaking loud that's literally like shotgun bangs isn't it literally gunshots you can feel it in your chest so yeah I cannot wait for the 550 cc injectors the bigger turbo the ECUs this summer this thing is gonna be fun we're back in the garage hiding that is so freaking loud so yeah we have our stock one we have like six well, we have stock, we have some tuned, lightly tuned, stuff I play with. Uh, this one here, I can't wait to hook that up, see what it does. And then obviously that one just doesn't have crackle pop. But literally, he got those rims he traded. He had less than 100 bucks into them. Traded the wheels for three stage three ECUs. You know, we bought the three turbos for 130. We bought the APR kit and the block, intake, injectors, all that for uh, 200 I mean does it get better than that I've been looking at these APR kits for so long and just not knowing how the heck you know we're gonna figure this out Want, looking for Chinese replica parts because God knows I wasn't paying that much and uh, the world works in mysterious ways man it always turns out the way you want it everything always works out so stay positive keep your head down keep grinding and uh, no matter what your goal is, you'll get there. I hope you guys have a good day. Come back to see what we do with this. We are putting it on the car. Come back to see if we've got some built rods in there. And uh, we'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>